think I find it. All right, we are recording. So I wanna welcome you guys to a new consultant call. Um, there was just a ton of you guys that came on at one time and I just wanted to bring you guys all together and kind of walk you guys through some of the basic things. Um, you guys might already have known it if you checked out the first things first checklist on your workstation, but um, I also wanna give you guys an opportunity to ask questions um, as I'm walking through this. But first I wanted to say, you guys are smashing it. You guys are doing amazing jobs. I know both of you who are on right now were like, I'm not so sure about this, but I knew. I knew you guys would be awesome. So I'm so happy you guys made the decision to jump on. So let's go ahead and share the screen. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to just shout it out, type it in the chat. I have a chat box up here. So don't hesitate to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead, share the screen. Um, so there should be like, if you go to the bottom, are you on your phone or a computer? I'm on my phone. Oh, I see it, the little pencil. Yeah, if you're on your phone, it kind of toggles between the video and the chat. I don't think you can do both at the same time, but um, okay, yeah, I see it. But yeah, you can check there. Okay, perfect. So can you guys see my screen? Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right, so this is your dashboard. You guys probably have seen that. Yours looks a little bit different, especially if you're still within your 70 day period. You guys have your first things first chest checklist when you first log in. So it looks a little bit different, but overall the sidebar and the top tabs are pretty much the same. So I'm gonna just kind of walk you guys through some things. So first thing over here, this is what I call the sidebar. Um, you guys can keep it, you can close it down if you like a minimal look like this, or you can expand it so you can see the wording for what everything stands for. So we'll just go through the orders tab. So the orders tab, just as it says, this is where you're gonna be able to check your orders, uh, put in orders, check your order history. And there's also a, a Sensi Club tab, which is only, I wanna say maybe four to five months new. We didn't have that before, but it's so nice that we're able to have this now. So you can check all your Sensi Club clubbers kind of at, at, um, at a glance. So your open orders here, this is just kind of where you see all your open parties and all your open orders. So I think I closed, yeah. So this is my, all of my open um, parties that I have going on right now. This is where you can go in um, and trend party orders, close the party, all of that good stuff. Enter in the host orders, all that can be done on this screen. In your history tab, this is where you're gonna see all of your orders and you can customize how you guys wanna see this. So it defaults to 30 days in all types of orders. Um, you can do 60 days, you can do 90 days, or you can choose a custom time frame if you wanna do that. Um, what I usually do, and I'll show you guys that in the context tab, is if I'm pulling up, um, let's say I'm doing a monthly mail out. So in June, I'm gonna send out all my happy mail for all of my customers who ordered in May, there's an easier way to kind of figure that out than going through your orders tab because there's no way from here to export all of that information into like an Excel. It makes it easier to sort and all that stuff. Um, but this is good just to check to see, you know, whose order has shipped, you know, what's the status, maybe something is back ordered, so on and so forth. So even your personal orders, so your personal orders, your um, supply orders, your sent in warmer of the month subscription, all of that is right here. So this is where you're gonna be able to go and check in there. And if you click on it, it expands and gives you all of the mailing address, email, um, phone number. I'm not gonna show you guys that for you know privacy reasons, but all of that is here. You can sort by here and then you can do filters. So what I usually do, first thing in the morning, I will check to see if I have any new orders to send thank you text. That's what I use that for. And then I will change my status here to shipped to see what orders have shipped. That way I can send them the tracking link. Yes, if they ordered on your PWS, they will get a tracking link once their order does ship. I just like to send another one. Um, if, and I believe they just now changed it, 
But if you put their order in for them through an individual order, you can check the box so they can receive a tracking email as well. Before it wasn't like that, so I made sure I sent tracking emails that way. And I'll show you guys what that looks like. So if you go back to this new tab, you can create a party and then individual order. So let's say I did an individual order for myself. Let's say I'm gonna attach it to my open party link, ship to me. Let's see, it won't give me that option. Let me go back, change the customer maybe. It doesn't do it, making a longer ad of me. Let's see. My daughter. You know what? I tried it the other day too, and it didn't work for me either. I don't know if I, I did something wrong. Okay, here it is. So, you know, if you put it in as a customer instead of doing it for yourself, it will give you this option over here to receive email notifications. So you can check to receive um, order and shipping notifications and enroll in newsletter and promotions. And then you can also notate if they're interested in how hosting a party or consultant opportunity. So it looks like you have to do it at, for a different customer instead of yourself. If you want to um, unlock this order and shipping notification. Cool. Any questions on the orders tab? The only question I have is um, when you're ordering. Now, when the hostess has her party, and she has somebody that booked the party. Mm -hmm. Now, because she got that booking, she gets that one half off item. Mm -hmm. So that goes in the perpetual award, rewards, but how does that get paid? They pay you. So it's very similar to a host order. So the perpetual party reward and the host order, they need to pay you. So you can either accept payment through Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, Facebook pay, however you want to do payment, or they can give you their credit card information. And then you, the, those orders will be submitted when you submit the party. So like the perpetual party reward, maybe, you know, the customer ordered on the PWS, but she also wants that perpetual party reward. Uh, that will ship separately. So okay, that won't perfect. ship until the party I closes. Have, I have a party that's doing that. And she gets her half off, but I didn't know like exactly where to put it because I tried to put it in the the PWS, but or the perpetual will work, whatever it was. And for some reason, it didn't like it wanted to add like the whole amount to her order instead of just like the half amount. Yeah. So you for any rewards, host and perpetual party rewards. Me, you need to do it through your workstation. So let's go into, let's say I'm closing out May online orders. So I'm gonna go to the edit order tab. And then you're gonna here under party summary, you're gonna assign the perpetual party reward. So right now I'm the only customer for this party that I can apply this to. Um, if let's say this person has not, um, or you wanna, you need to add this person to the party. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna to need to go to add another guest, go through that process of adding the guest, and then their name is gonna show up in this drop down when you get ready to assign the perpetual party reward. And then you go okay. here and you just click whatever, you know, let's say they want um, six Cincy bars. You'll go through the same process of adding this and I'm just gonna pick six of palm trees and ocean breeze. And it's automatically gonna knock off to $15. And then you're also gonna be able okay. to see it here under their order. Okay, and it'll ship directly to the actual, the hostess, not the actual hostess of the party. Like the you one can that's choose. getting the perpetual award. You can choose. So you can have it shipped directly to the host and their shipping is gonna be, um, I believe it's, 5%, it's cheaper to ship to the host than have a direct shipped. Okay. But she can do it either way. You'll just have to, when you're adding her as a guest and you're going through the shipping options, just make sure you select
direct shipped or shipped to the host. Okay. And that's it. Right. And that that's not going to close out until you submit the party. Okay. So any orders you put in under the party link will not go to home office until you close out the party. Okay. So just keep that in mind. All right, that makes sense. Yeah. Cool. Okay. All right, let's move over to, let me show you real quick on the context tab. So when I am, when I am looking for, like if I'm doing my mailing, like let's say I'm doing my mail mailing in June. So I'm sending out happy mail, thank you packages for everyone had ordered in May. I'm gonna go into my contacts tab and I'm going to click export to Excel. And when I do that, it's gonna create an Excel chart where I can sort and bring all of the most recent orders to the top. And so that way I can easily see who ordered. And it's gonna be in chronological order and I can delete the rest of my contacts. So that way I have an Excel chart of just the peer, people who ordered in May. That's an easier way to do that than trying to do one by one going through the order history tab. So that's kind of what I was saying before. If you guys are doing like mass mailings, that's an easy way to do it. Um, let's go to Cincy's success over here. And I don't know why it does this. Sometimes it's really finicky, like the news tab can be kind of finicky. But um, bring this down a little bit. So over here in Sensei Success is where you're gonna to go to your news tab. It's where you see the training materials and there's the marketing materials. So the news information is all of the new information that they provide. So I usually click the news tab, scroll all the way to the bottom and click view more. And then it's gonna bring everything, oh, I'll log me out. It's gonna bring everything in chronological order. So you're gonna see the latest, news first so you have the product status list second chance for the retro warmer so on and so forth so all of that information is going to be in chronological order so this is something that you want to check if not daily at least once a week especially on a thursday because usually if we have a lto launching on a monday they're going to release that information on a thursday the thursday before and then over here in the trainings tab this is where you're gonna find all the information. Let's say you have, you want information on how to run a party, an online party, you can easily do a search through the training tab. You want to learn, um, I don't know, product details information. All that information is gonna be here in the training tab. So between this and YouTube and using the search function for both, it's gonna find some great information on how to use um, or how to do anything, anything for Sensi. All right, and then the marketing tab is where you're gonna find all of the images. So we have all of our bring back my bar images, so on and so forth. So all of those images are here. And this is the great way to sort this is by, let's say you're looking for, you know, laundry products. Click laundry and apply filters. So all the, lawn, the most recent laundry images are gonna pop up to the top. Um, let's say that you wanted to look for everything that is in the current season only. Apply filters, all, that in, all that's gonna to bring to the top. All right, so you're gonna have styled photos. These photos that have a gray background here, that won't actually show up. This just means that it has a blank background. So it's great to kind of overlay it on other images, which is a totally different training. I won't confuse you guys with that. But just so you know, this gray background doesn't actually show up. It's just a transparent background, if you guys are wondering. All right. Um, any questions on Cincy's success? The transparent background, that's when you can use the app Canva, right, to put backgrounds in? Absolutely, yep. Okay. You can even use it on, um, let me show you guys if I can get to my- But it also has to have the fancy logo on it too, right? And it has to have like independent consultant on it? 
Yeah, so if you're using this image, you're set because it has the Sensi logo right here. Oh, so you, okay. you, yeah, you're good. Um, so as long as it has the image on the item itself, then we're good. But if it doesn't, then you can put it on there yourself. Yep, and you can actually find the logo by just searching Sensi logo and you can find the logos here as well. Okay. Yep, or you can just type out Sensi, I think it's Sensi Independent Consultant. You can type that out as well. Okay. So as long as that is on there, you're fine. Okay. All right, let's see what else do I have. Consultant store. This is fun to shop in. So this is where you're gonna find all your business supplies. So whether you're looking for, here we go, catalogs, order forms, um, marketing information, all of that can be here. So you just kind of, you can even do a search here for let's say stickers and it should pull up, you know, those Robin Smell stickers. You've got stickers here about join us, um, so many different things. And then you have different departments here, which is really cool as well. So if you're looking to have business cards printed or other materials printed with your information, you can click here in the print section. Um, even Vistaprint. So we have our pro shop. It's kind of our partner with Vistaprint. So if you click on that tab, that's where you're going to find um, tons of marketing materials. So we just want to select the USA. And you have apparel, business cards, signage, um, labels, marketing materials, all that stuff can be found here. And it's at a little bit of a discount as well, which is pretty cool. So all of that is here. There's closeout, apparel, you name it. All right. Um, let's go to, okay. So accounts tab. There's a ton of stuff in the accounts tab that I wanted to review. So to get to your accounts tab, you're going to see this little person. You're going to kind of hover over there, click your name, click account. So this is kind of like all the admin information. So if you need to change your mailing address, you can do that here. If you need to change your phone number, you can do that here, your email address, all of that information can be changed here. If you need to change your password for whatever reason, award preferences. So when you guys um, start earning your rewards, you guys can choose whether you want, this is kind of in the way. If you want a charm or a pin, you guys can choose that, which is kind of cool. So the first time you earn your reward and let's say you choose a charm, you're gonna get a bracelet. And then you, every time afterwards, you're gonna get charms that you can add to the bracelet, which is so cool. And then for the pin, the first time you earn a reward, you're gonna get a lanyard. And that way you can put all your pins on the lanyard, which is kind of cool too. So you can choose the way that you want um, that. And if you want your name on your rewards, that is different than the name on your account. So you guys can select that here. Um, all of that information is right there. Let's go back here. Um, personal website. So if you wanna change your personal website name, you can. Um, I just changed it to my first and last name. So your website's always gonna be whatever you choose, .cincy.us. So make it something that's easy for you to remember and something easy for your customer, customers to remember. So if you haven't changed it already, I suggest just your first and your last name. Make it super simple. Don't worry about being super cutesy. Um, just something that's easily to be remembered. Um, monthly subscriptions. So if you guys, every month, you guys can go in here, you can downgrade, you can upgrade your subscription, whether you want just the center of the month or whether you want the scent and the warmer of the month, you can change your credit card. All of that, as long as it's done before the 15th of the month, you guys, you're good to go, okay? So some months you're probably, you might think, well, not a big fan of that warmer. So you choose only to get the scent. So you get those nine bars, the stickers, the tester, the room spray, just get that. And then maybe the next month you're like, oh, I love that warmer, switch it to get the warmer, okay? So I highly recommend that you guys make that change before the 15th of the month. 
If you need your pay statement, that's here. Um, if you choose to um, sponsor in different regions, you guys can subscribe to that. I haven't dipped my toe in that yet, so I'm not quite sure how that really works. So all I can tell you is that it's here. <laughs> So tax forms are down here. If you guys earn at least 600 in commission um, within that tax period. So, so any questions on that? Because I know that's kind of a ton of information. People have lots of questions on that. Are we good? Cool. So that's kind of what I really wanted to go over um, in the workstation. I mean, there's a ton of other things in here, but you guys can kind of click and just play around with it. Um, oh, one thing I do want to mention real quick is if you haven't registered for SFR, it's virtual this year. It's our annual conference. It's where they do recognition, where they have tons of training. Right now, the registration fee is only $11, and that's for the streaming only. So you can stream all of the training, and then you'll be, have access to it 30 days past. So click the events tab here, go to upcoming events and you wanna um, register here. So when you guys log in, it's gonna look like this where you're gonna have this purple bar to click to register. Just click that, go through and pay it. And it's a business write-off. So I highly recommend that we all do it. Um, incentive tracker, there's one here. Calendar of what's coming up is here. Um, idea share. So if you have an idea or maybe your customers have a really great idea, you want to pass it along to home office. This is where you would do it. And then here is a link to our pay portal. So hopefully you guys were able to figure out and you've got your Cincy card, you figured out how to transfer all that money and all that good stuff. So yeah, I think that is it for the workstation. So let's move over to incentives, which is awesome. So three incentives I want to talk to you guys about. Um, so the first one within your first 15 days is called the shooting star of work. So if you sell at least 500 in PRV within your first 15 days, you have unlocked the shooting star of work. And you're going to get that charm or bracelet, um, like we talked about when we were going over the accounts tab, and the opportunity to purchase the Shooting Star Enhancement Kit. That's just the items that are in there is valued over, I believe, $300, and you pay like $200 for it. But it counts towards your PRV, which is really cool. So it's going to help you. You're going to get commission back on that. You're going, it's going to help you towards any incentives that you're working towards. And it's going to be some great stock for you to have and to also build and make samples. So there's more information in your workstation, but that's just something to kind of keep in mind. That's like, that's your first award that you really want to work towards as a new consultant, because it's your first 15 days, your first two weeks, you want to have a launch party. And usually parties are, you know, anywhere between, you know, three, six thousand dollar PRV, easily attainable to earn that shooting star award. Um, so yeah, any questions on that? Cool, all right. So the next one is not necessarily an, an award, so to speak, but it's a promotion and that's called certified. So to be certified is to submit 1000 PRV and that's cumulative, it doesn't have to be within a certain time frame. So let's say you get 500 PRV within your first month, maybe you get 250 in your second and then 250 in your third. By the end of your third month, you would have hit 1000 PRV and you would have earned a permanent pay raise. So instead of earning 20% commission, you would have earned 25% commission and you will no longer ever earn 20%, you will always earn 25% at the very least for as long as you're a Cincy consultant, which is really cool. All right, and then the last one is, do, 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 do. not there, where is it? Okay, first one, the sensational start. So this one's a little bit trickier. So, this is within your first 70 days. So you have about 
two and a half months, give or take, um, from the start of your Cincy journey to earn either level one, two, or three of sensational start. So I'm just going to go over there really briefly of what um, each level is. So to earn level one, 1500 PRV or 500 PRV and one personally enrolled consultant who reaches 200 PRV in sales. So we all know that 200 PRV means active within the month. So as long as the person that you recruit hits 200 PRV in sales, and you have 500 PRV yourself, you would have earned level one and you would have earned $50 in product credit. So you can use that towards any product that we have in Sensi or business supplies. Um, you're gonna in, earn a sensational start lapel pin and a certificate of achievement. Level two, 3000 PRV or 1500 PRV and one personally enrolled consultant who reaches 200 PRV. With that, you're gonna earn 125 product credit, a sensational start level one and two pin and certificate of achievement. And you're also gonna get an exclusive sensational start warmer. So if you guys have seen pictures of a warmer with like a star that kind of, I don't know, it's kind of curved and kind of, it's just a little funky, but it's really cool. That's the sensational start um, exclusive warmer. Level three is 6,000 PRV or 3,000 PRV and two personally enrolled consultants who both reach 200 PRV in sales, you'll earn 225 product credit, sensational start level one, two, and three pin is the same thing for the certificates, a sensational start warmer, a trophy, and you're gonna get recognition on the news tab and SFR. Now also, to earn either level one, two, or three, you must complete the first things first checklist. So that's the, on that dashboard when I was telling you guys that yours looks a little bit different than mine. Um, when you first walk in, you're gonna see that first things first checklist. Just go through there, check everything off. And so you don't have to worry about it anymore. You can focus on you know, recruiting and getting your PRV. All right, so that, remember that's, um, within your first 70 days. All right, so we got about 10 or so minutes left. Do you guys have any questions? Um, I was thinking about, I, I was almost gonna order some business cards, but then I figured I think I'll wait until I become certified. So that way I don't have to have the because it asks for the title when you're filling out the info on the business card. So oh, it does? Put, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know if you have to, but maybe you don't have to have it there, but I didn't want to type in essential consultant if, you know, at some point I'm going to be certified. So maybe try putting um, just independent Cincy consultant. Maybe he doesn't okay. need, um, I haven't ordered business supplies from there, but see if that works. But yeah. I mean, you're not far from it, so if you definitely want to wait, you can. Okay. What else you guys got? Because you guys are, you know, I call you like my veteran new consultants. <laughs> You've been around for a month or two, so you guys are killing it, so. Well, I just closed two parties for the month of May so far, and I have um, my third party is started today and I think my PRV is already 2147 nice so I'm working towards the I think it's level two you were saying mm -hmm. that's like 3000 but I just had a lady too that just messaged me about becoming a consultant and signing on on my team so I'm just waiting for her to get back to me and then I think I'm going to have her over to walk her through everything on the, on the site to make sure she totally understands like what's going on. Mm -hmm. And then I think she's going to sign. That's awesome. And yeah, we have that $20 special going on too. So it's a great time to join. Perfect. Yeah, That's awesome. And you'll also be on your way to earning um, the keep growing incentive as well. So keep that in mind. That'd be cool. 
Yeah, I think you probably already have the PRV for that. So yeah, just get those recruits up and certified. I think, so. I think you messaged me. I think you messaged me about that before. Yeah. Because I didn't know anything about it. Yeah, yeah. You just need to get, and for the incentive, they'll need to certify. So that means they'll need to submit their $1,000, which you have until June, the end of June for them okay. to do that. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? No, I think that's it. Awesome. Well, keep up the great work, guys. And you know, I'm always here. I am, I just recorded this. So we definitely will post this on the team page. So if you guys, you know, can always come back, you guys can always share this with your new recruits as well and to help them out um, too. So that's all I got. I'm going to stop the recording.